Well, you're back here another time, Gavin, and you're just telling me, I asked you, how old are you now? You're like, I'm 18, and I'm like, woo! Because two years ago, you didn't even have a driver's license, and you were taking top podium spots. You've been doing it, you've been getting better, and just like the press conference, you know, Sean was saying, you're just getting a little bit faster. Do you think the confidence of taking top spots, of podium, and of course having the seat time is giving you that confidence just to go a little bit further, a little bit faster? Absolutely. Uh, like I was saying in the other press conference, after I picked up my first uh, win of this season at Long Beach, it gave me a huge confidence boost, and ever since then, every time I'm on the track, I have the speed to win. I'm up there battling. Even though sometimes I have bad luck, like in Perth after Long Beach, I thought I was going to win that race, but had a racing incident with Ari. But, I mean, every time I'm out there, I'm pumped because I know I can win, like today. I just stayed out of trouble and got that W, so... With the coming off the win, and we're doing a back-to-back -back here in Detroit, and you know a lot of series don't do that. You race, 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 and then you have a few weeks off, maybe, or a week. You know, Doing this back-to-back, -back, you win today. Do you take that out of your head and say, it's a brand new day, I didn't feel like I won, but I know the confidence, I know what I need to do, I know what turns I need to hit, or do you still think, hey, I won yesterday, I can do this again? Uh, I mean, I guess it's a little bit of both. I mean, starting from the back, I mean, it's hard. you got to kind of keep that in the back of your head and say wow like even though I won yesterday I got to make some moves I got to pass all these people but at the same time you got to be like okay I know I can win I won yesterday if I did it yesterday I can do it again so I mean a little bit of both knowing you can win but also at the same time not getting too confident knowing that there's fast people in front of you that I mean it's going to be hard to pass so with some fans out there, they don't know also that SST, of course, runs on dirt off-road tracks. How different is it coming from a dirt off-road track where each lap, each turn, the terrain changes? Here, your asphalt, it's still somewhat the same. You know what's kind of going to happen, but how do you take your mindset from dirt, ever-changing each lap, to asphalt, it's pretty much going to be the same? Yeah, I mean, I'm, my whole racing career leading up to Stadium Super Trucks, I was all off-road. Trophy carts, pro lights, everything off-road, so... I mean, it was a big learning curve trying to learn how to race these things on the asphalt mostly. Even though we race both, it's mostly asphalt. But I'm excited for Texas because I get to go back to my roots. To yeah, <laughs> race on dirt, half the track's dirt, half the track's asphalt. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm pumped for that. Even though, the, I mean, the dirt changes and, I mean, there's ruts. you got to worry about flipping yeah. and spinning out a lot. I mean, it's still what I grew up racing on. So I'm pumped to show my speed up in that cushion. I come from the dirt world as well for short course, and my favorite thing is watching a truck take that corner. Trophy trucks can't do that, but short course, you know, take that turn and hit that cushion and then just bounce back off. That's my favorite thing. Thank you so much, and I've been asking each person to, you're so young. I feel like you were like here, and now I'm looking up at you. You're 18. How, how do you let like the little fans that look up to you and know that you're a role model, how do you tell them, or what advice would you give to them to keep pushing for their dreams? Yeah, I mean, I'm still really young racing these things, but I started when I was 10, 11 years old. So, I mean, it's never too early to start. Nowadays in some off-road series, kids are starting about five years old. I mean, you just got to work your way up, get a lot of experience, um, whether it's on dirt, uh, go-karts, on the asphalt, anything. You just got to get that experience and keep racing until you get to something like this. Awesome. Well, thank you, Gavin. Gavin's telling us that you need the experience, you need to keep pushing, and then once you're about 16, you can take that top spot, and then when you turn 18, you can take another top spot. This kid can't even drink yet, and he's probably got more trophies than most of, I mean, me. So either way, stay tuned, because Gavin, I cannot wait to see what you're going to do tomorrow.